Want to learn more about report level measures against live connections in Power BI? Stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Patrick, Guy in the Cube. And in this video, we're going to talk about report level measures in Power BI. All right. Um, before, before I get into all that, before I get started, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Arlene for sending me this cool Transformers t-shirt. Thank you so much, Arlene. As promised, it's in the video. Thanks. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, um, let's get back to these report level measures. And so somebody's probably thinking, why are we talking about report level measures? They're so simple. They're so easy. True. They are. But what I'm finding out is that a lot of people don't know about them. Every time um, I bring them up in a presentation or a conversation, it's like, I didn't know you could do that. All right. Reason number one. And even Adam pointed out that he was talking to someone that didn't know about him. All right. That's the first reason. Number two. I was talking to someone and you're probably thinking, oh, Patrick's always talking to someone. The guy should keep his mouth closed. He ain't never going to do it. So I like to talk. I talk a lot. Um, and so the second reason is that people, this guy, I was having a conversation with this guy and he was like, hey, I created some report level measures, published my report, can't see the measures. Hmm. I thought to myself, why can't you see them? All right. I'm going to show you why. We're going to talk about all that in this video. All right. So report level measures, they were released in May, May update 2017. All right. They released it in May. And basically what you could do is you can create a measure against a live connection to an SSAS tabular model, only tabular models, multidimensional models. I'm going to guess is coming, um, or to a data set that's published to the Power BI service. All right. So let's level set. Let's jump over to my desktop. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. All right. All right. So with the desktop open, if you click get data, you have two choices that you can create these live connections to the Power BI service or analysis services. So once you connect to one of them, you simply just add new measure and create your measure. I'm going to show you how to do that all right, in a few minutes. So think about it. I, somebody creates your model or somebody creates somebody creates your tabular model or somebody creates a model published to the service, how do you get a measure into it? Well, before this update, you have to call them up. Hey, I need a measure. Then you have to wait, they create it, then they republish it, then you can use it. Now, it's all on you. If you're somewhat proficient in DAC, or maybe you think you're proficient in DAC, you can do it right here, all right? All right, so let me show you how to do it, all right? So I'm gonna connect, I'm already connected to a tabular model, and I'm gonna go ahead and create something really simple back to my desktop, all right? So over here, connected up to a live connection. I'm live connected. You can see right here to a tabular model and notice there's no relationship option where you can go see your diagram or no data model option. That's, you know, that's another way I know that I'm live connected. All right. So I already have a slicer here for year. And what I want to do is I want to see total admissions. So I'm going to go ahead and click the table um, where I want to create my measure. You see in the ribbon, I'm going to go ahead and choose new measure. The DAX formula bar opens up. I'm going to call this total admissions equal count rows and just put in my admissions table. All right. And click OK. And now there's my measure in the field list. So now all I need to do is let's say I want to look at this by admit type. And go ahead, add total admissions and then make this a nice little bar chart. There we go. And now as I click different things. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. So now you know what they are. You understand why we're talking about it. The first reason, right? So I'm kind of evangelizing and letting you guys know what the product is. The next reason is I'm going to show you where I think my friend who I spoke with kind of stumbled just a little bit. All right. And so remember the name of these. These are report level measures. They didn't say measures. They didn't say data set level measures. The Power BI team was really, really, really specific report level measure. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and publish this. So before I publish it, I want to show you something. So I created a workspace called Live Connections in Power BI, and you can see it's completely empty. No collateral, no dashboards, no reports, no data sets. Haven't done much with workbooks yet. I'll take a look at that and maybe do some videos on it. So back over to the Power BI desktop, going to go ahead and click publish. So once you click publish, it's going to ask you, you know, which destination, which workspace. I'm going to choose my Live Connections workspace. Click select. And while it's thinking about it, I'm going to hop back over to my 
web page, powerbi.com, in my workspace. And now you can see there's a report and there's also a data set. Now, because I'm live connected, you need to make sure that your gateway is running and that you've created the data source on the gateway prior to publishing or you'll get a little warning saying, hey, you can't do some stuff. You can't do things with this data set until you create your data source, all right? I took care of all that before I jumped on with you guys. My data set's ready to go. And I mean, my data source is ready to go and now I can start doing things. And so the first step, remember, the guy said, hey, I can't see my measures. So what I'm gonna assume that he did, and you guys pay attention right here, is that after he published it, he went over to the data set and he clicked the icon to create a report. And when I do that, I go to admissions, the table where I created this, okay? I'm on the data set. I expand it out and I don't see that measure. Why not? It's because it's a report level measure, not a data set, not a data set level measure. All right. And so I had to think about it a little bit. I was like, why don't I see it? Why don't I see it? But then if I go back to the name, I was like, oh, it's a report level measure. So if I just go back to my workspace, click on my report, open my report up, go into edit mode, guess who's there? Total admissions. Total admissions is there. Success. All right. You guys get it? All right. So these are report level measures. You create them. In your Power BI desktop, you publish them out, you can only see them in the report that you create them on. You cannot modify those data sets, all right? Remember, you can create these against SSAS tabular models and Power BI data sets that are published to Power BI, all right? What do you guys think? What do you think about these report level measures? You got any questions? You're running into challenges like my friend? If so, post them in the comments below. Um, if this is your first time to this channel, please be sure to subscribe. And if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. From Adam and Patrick, we'll see you guys in the next video.